4.31 and I set my alarm for 3.55. I'm a birder but I'm not a morning person. <laughs> The Hermit Thrush's song is usually an introductory note followed by what's called a flourish. And so there's like a do, 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 And there used to be lots of birds in this area, lots of territories. But those are the only two I'm, I'm hearing right now. I was walking down the trail behind my house one day and there was a hermit thrush singing at the top of a tree. And he just kept singing and singing and, and he didn't stop. He was just so committed to his mission and his territory and, and I just, lay in the grass and listened and just became completely enamored and completely fascinated with this bird. They're just, they're fairly nondescript. They're just a small brown bird, big dark eyes for seeing. They are one of the earliest risers, but they're known for having one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful song of all North American songbirds. Catharis guttatus slovini is the scientific name for the Monterey hermit thrush, the subspecies of hermit thrush that breeds in Big Basin Redwoods State Park. Big Basin, prior to the fire, had high concentrations of hermit thrushes. But to the north or south along the coast, they're found sporadically and, and not necessarily in high numbers. If these birds are found to be substantially distinct and the park has experienced extensive losses of the subspecies, this fire could have been really just devastating for the Monterey hermit thrush. The fire burned 97% of the park. Both of my field sites from my previous geolocator work were high intensity burn areas. And the fire hit just prior to fall migration when the birds were taxed due to the energy requirements of breeding and raising young. They were probably in the process of their fall molts when they're using their energy reserves to replace their feathers. And they're needing to fatten up for the long distance flight of migration all the way down to Western Mexico. So these birds really could have been forced to migrate early without really the proper resources. So it's just, just not bode well for them. So even if they survived the fire, they may not have made it all the way to their wintering grounds. So now I'm using my capture data from my previous work in Big Basin to estimate pre-fire hermit thrush territory density. And I'm comparing that to territory data collected in 2021 in the summer following the fire. There are many, many rare species that are declining at a precipitous rate, but we're also losing our quote unquote common birds at an alarming rate. In the past 50 years, we've, we've lost about a third of our birds. It's not just the rare species, it's not just the neotropical migrants that are declining, it's, it's birds everywhere. So even if a species is doing well across its range, there may be populations that are genetically distinct that aren't doing so well. And if we lose those, we lose genetic diversity. We lose biodiversity. I feel like it's a race to better understand what they are and what they do and, and how unique they are and where they are geographically. Because if we, if we don't act, we may miss our opportunity. And to think that that might be a possibility, I don't want to see that happen. I mean, it's already ha happening. There are fewer hermit thrushes here after the fire than there were when I was studying the hermit thrushes in previous years. 
we have to find that passion for those places, the forests or the habitats that you enjoy, and actually care for and advocate for them or advocate for the, the species that you think are cool or interesting. We can't just get despondent and put our heads in the sand and throw our hands up in the air and hope that somebody else will just take care of all the environmental problems that are around us. Climate change is coming and it's already wreaking havoc. And we just, we need to do what we can to to stop it. I, I like to tell people I've, I've never questioned why I'm on this planet or why I exist. I'm here to study hermit thrushes and help preserve them.